What's up? Good morning, everybody. I'm going to run you through a series of VCTs. It's a great morning routine. We always start off with some low impact cardio or some light cardio. We walked a pup this morning about a mile. Then we come back, we do some stick mobility. All right, so push pulls. You just want to stimulate the body, waking up those ligaments and tendons. This is going to prevent injury. We call this priming the body. So some push pulls, some bend and reach to a shoulder dislocation, okay? Over the rainbows, you can do around the worlds. Just several different movements, rotational movements to wake the body up. All right, so that's what we call priming the body. Okay, after that, your body's ready. And you're gonna get into a few movements. First exercise is a thruster. So we're using dumbbells, come down nice and deep, thrust up, okay? That's a thruster. Next is a dumbbell row. So you can do them supported. So a good dumbbell row, okay? getting a good stretch on your way down. And then we have a seated dip to hip thrust. Nice and deep, pushing those hips up towards the ceiling. This isn't really gonna concentrate. Squeeze them triceps. You'll feel them in your glutes, your hamstrings, your abs, your shoulders, your chest, and of course, your triceps. Next is a kettlebell swing or a snatch. So we usually do Russians. So nice, even movement. Okay. Feeling those in your shoulders, in your glutes, in your core, or you can do a snatch. You can do them with the kettlebell or with a dumbbell. So Get up underneath your hips, nice form, flat back, not leaning way over, but up underneath your hips. Take the, uh, take the dumbbell and snatch it up. If you notice, I'm pulling straight up my body, pulling my shoulder up, and then snatching towards the ceiling. Up underneath my hips, snatch it up, okay? That's ECT2. Rest 30 seconds to a minute between exercises. You want your heart rate to be moving, but not, not overdo it. You can do two to three sets and whatever rep range you have the time for. Typically it's anywhere between 10 to 20 reps in the morning because it's lightweight and we're just stimulating the body, getting the body, body moving before heading off to the office. Next is a dumbbell lunge, all right? You don't have to use dumbbells. You can use, you know, just your body weight. You can alternate, or you can just get a good form, come down nice and slow, making sure your knee isn't up too far, extended past your toes, and just come back up, all right? So that's a dumbbell lunge. Now we're gonna do a, a bench press. You don't have a bench, that's fine. You can use the Bozy ball. And honestly, you can do these off the floor. Nice. Remember, these aren't heavy. This is just our morning routine. Stimulate those muscles, sparking that metabolism. So your body's screaming for fuel first thing in the morning, and it's really gonna help out with leaning out the body. You can also put your legs up it's gonna work a little bit of core, some isolation movements, All right? So that is the dumbbell bench. And now we're going to do a seated dumbbell curl. So sit on the end of your bench. Once again, using dumbbells, sit up nice and tall. You can alternate them or you can do them together whichever you prefer. 
All right. Next is a lateral raise. You can do those seated or standing. Straight out. All right, that's a lateral raise. Nice form, knees were bent a little bit. Coming straight out into a nice T. A lot of people go a little bit in front of them because they don't have good shoulder mobility, but you should really feel those in your traps and with you bending your knees and holding your core tight. Always keep that core tight. Then we're gonna do a plank crunch. So you can do these elevated if you'd like. So get into a nice plank position and all you're gonna do is crunch up, okay? Good rep range between 20 and 40 of those. And then you're gonna do a calf raise. So typically you can use them use a dumbbell I usually do them single leg and you're just gonna raise up on your toes you can do these put a plate underneath your toes so you get more of a stretch on your way down and then switch it out I usually do between 20 to 40 reps remember to rest in between your exercises maintain a good heart rate and like I said these are morning routines you can do these in the afternoon. We typically like to do these in the morning. It's just to wake the body up, spark everything. It's full body, really clears my mind and uh, supports overall heart health and stimulating those muscles for sparking that metabolism first thing in the morning. Remember to close out the routine with a cool down and some static stretches. And uh, you can also use a roller and roll out. Like I said, early morning routines, for me, it's the best way to fire that metabolism up and it's optimal for overall fat loss, full body routine, going light, nothing crazy. If you do this in the afternoon, it's fine. You can do it in the afternoon as well, um, but you can also go a little heavier in the afternoon or you're not gonna be able to work out in the afternoon and you can only do this in the morning and you are used to working out in the morning you can go heavy in the morning as well uh, that's pretty much it it consisted of three different or four different ECTs so some light cardio with prime in the body and then ECT2 full body movements ECT3 a series of uh, full body movements ECT4 was some plank crunches and isometrics, closing out with some calf raises, and then of course, your static stretching and your cool down. Uh, have a good one, have a good day. I'll hang this on YouTube for future reference. Let us know how we can improve the platform. You are our mission. This platform is designed for you. Let us know how we can improve. There's always room for improvement. We look forward to hearing from you. Have a good day.